It's been 11 years since I've written anything anywhere near this size. Yeah, like learning to ride with one arm was pretty gnarly and I never, never thought I'd get to this point again. Yeah, so this project came about just chatting with John and uh, this was about a year ago and we discussed the idea of riding the Vision Line. So it was pretty out the idea, um, but over the year I had built up kind of a confidence and started riding bigger, you know, bigger jumps. And yeah, I was ready to just get my teeth back into big jumps again. I feel like I'm going to a race. <laughs> It's a good feeling actually, so uh, yeah, it was a cold time of year to do it, but now I'm excited man. It's all familiar. I went from dreaming about jumping again to just having dreams of vision line. <laughs> it looks so good and we lucked out with the weather. It's been so wet lately. It's been a while. How yes, mate. Good. good, yeah, good to see you good. again. Yeah, it's been a while. Fuck yeah. You haven't been bothering me in extension these days, mate. I'm about to. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, that, that's why she came along. <laughs> I'm just so inspired by him coming here and even just wanting to ride Vision. He's been through so much and he just continues to find ways to continue doing something he's passionate about. You know, like he continues to ride his bike and find, come up with ways that he can send it. <laughs> Thanks for doing some grass, it's so sick. No worries, man. Yeah, new feeling. It's okay, you just gotta like, I gotta be so careful not to like, get like a big bar wobble coming off the take off, but that's cool. Yeah, I was, I was fully confident in my ability to ride them. Um, I was more confident in the equipment I designed to ride it as well. And then, yeah, it just, it didn't quite go to plan. Um, my actual mechanism which holds my hand on, I've been trying a, a lighter spring setup um, just because it, ta it, it takes attention off the system and yeah, just that's, that's partly my job um, is to try these things out and see if it works. Unfortunately, in this scenario, it didn't work and my hand popped off when I lifted out of a jump and um, yeah, I, it just basically meant that it, it was too much force going through the system when I was send them a big jump which is something i've never done before so it was new territory um and yeah the, i guess you could say like the worst thing happened um and my arm actually came away but one thing i did take from it was the exoskeleton arm brace fully protected my arm i had no broken bones no serious bruising um so in a bad situation i could still take away a positive and learn from it every single part of me wanted to just get back up and get back into it um, with every run I was doing, I was getting that little bit more confident and I was getting that feeling of floating again and finding my shape in the air and yeah, I just wanted to just keep on going. So years of developing this brace, I think I've pushed it as far as I can. I just want to see how far other people can take it. disability it's just so good to know that I am capable of riding such big jumps 
and uh, yeah, I don't feel I need to do any more, but it feels good to know I can. Thank you.